Dependency injection is a rather simple thing, the pattern itself. Let's imagine you are having a type, like a class. Let's call it view model. This is basically a constructor of the class. When you take something inside this constructor, let's say repository, and here if I have the type doesn't matter, interface, class, to so this here that you are passing thing through the constructor is a pattern of dependency injection. I create a test so that I can execute some code. If I make an object from the repo, so I have an instance of the repo, when I do an instance of the view model, I have to pass a repo here. So this is the actual dependency injection. This is constructor injection, the pattern itself, the core, the essence. If I had a property here, repository, from here, what I can do, I can say view model repo property equals repo. This is property injection. And you can also have one more way, which is method injection. So you can expose a function and here you can say this repo property equals repo. And this allows us to do method injection. So here we can say view model apply repo. This is the method injection. Now, obviously we use these three to construct some object graph. You have some structure of your code, like you have some I don't know, class that takes another class that takes another class. That's an object graph. You can construct it yourself manually, or you can use DI library like Hilt or Coin to construct that. Does it make sense?